Hello. We are Anonymous. Our target. Child Protective Services of Australia. Here's the story of a lovely lady. That this group must somehow form a family. That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch. And then child protection got involved. But that stops here. And it stops now. Enough is enough. Anonymous has been listening, researching, investigating. We have heard the cries of children and other parents. Child protection services in this country are corrupt and they are unethical. A new stolen generation is taking place by agencies that were created to remove children from truly abusive homes. But now these days, children are also being removed from capable parents. Parents who are now suffering financial stress after being thrust into the legal system. The racket of child protection has become big business. Money is made from each and every child taken into state care. The business of providing shelter to children who cannot live with their parents has become an industry of $4.5 billion per year. Docks in New South Wales makes over $1 billion alone each year, with the profits shared with carers who admit that they take children into their homes in order to make money. Private agencies make profits. Foster agencies and foster parents make money, lawyers reap in the cash and the judicial system is continually kept at work. These financial gains bring with it corruption. The majority of funding is not being allocated to parenting classes or community development but instead is going to case workers. Child protection reports for New South Wales docs comprised of 61% of all child protection reports in Australia and 79% of all Australian child protection investigations. Notifications in New South Wales have been increasing every year for the past decade with docs receiving 309,676 reports in 2008 and 2009. A government inquiry into child protection in 2008 revealed that docs was swamped with notifications that did not warrant the department's involvement, but on the other hand, in other cases children who actually were at risk were neglected, harmed or exploited, some even died. This report revealed that something was very very wrong within the operations of the New South Wales Child Protection Departments. But to those families across Australia who have experienced the interference of child protection services, this was no great revelation at all. Losing in the court is not an option for Child Protection Incorporated. It has been revealed that child protection workers admit to using dishonest tactics, and these tactics are discussed freely amongst workers, and these manipulative tactics are included in their training, that is, a culture of manipulation is encouraged to ensure a win in court. By bending truths or creating fabrications within reports for use in court, docs workers ensure their continued caseloads and the legitimization of their employment. These allegations are not conspiracy theory. This is fact. For example, parents are actively discouraged from showing natural displays of affection towards their children during supervised access visits. And should parents tell their children how much they miss them, this interaction will be recorded by workers and used against the parents at as future court date. Anonymous intends to break the silence on the depth of corruption, dirty tactics, fiscal policies and the abuse of power exerted by the majority of child protection workers and agencies. During this operation, we'll intend to inform the public, via rallies, public protests and via the electronic and social media about the grave acts of injustice perpetrated by the entity that is Child Protection Australia. Parents. Beware, are you struggling financially? Do you, or did you ever use drugs? One in three adults have. Have you, or did you ever suffer from mental illness? One in five people have. Are you going through a relationship breakdown? It happens all the time. All of this information can be manipulated by child protection agencies to be used against you. In New South Wales alone, there are no legal protections from the state invading your family. The evidence of docs bullying tactics and their vilification of parents and families is growing. The Australian Legislative Ethics Commission site, which receives many stories and reports of corrupt, unethical and manipulative behaviour by docs workers and their affiliates, has reached over 1 million visitors. Although docs has attempted to cover up allegations, those unfairly affected are speaking out. And although the New South Wales Ombudsman has received many complaints about docs, including fabricating evidence, it refuses to investigate further. 
We know there are those of you working in the field who are aware of these allegations. We know that you feel there is something very wrong going on within your agencies. You see questionable practices performed by your co-workers. You are aware of antiquated and judgmental policies that justify inegalitarian procedures. Please, follow your conscience, and join us. Stand up for human rights. Practice helpful and useful techniques, and work towards keeping families together. If you are not part of the solutions, then you will only continue to perpetuate the problems. We are anonymous. This is our first message to all of those involved in the Australian child protection racket. For every child you steal, there is an entire family left behind. Families that are made up of a mother, father, siblings, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins. And that is a whole lot of anger and resentment. Yes, we are anonymous. We are legion. And we are your clients. We are your ex-clients who have grown into adults. We are the parents and siblings of those children you took away. We are the friends who sat by and tried to help pick up the pieces of the harm and devastation you left behind. We are those friends who, as little children, watched our friends cry for their mummies. We are the friends of those parents who held our friends as they wept for their missing children. We are your own family members. We are your neighbors. We are even your co-workers. Yes, we are anonymous, and we are everywhere. We will never forgive. We will never forget. United as one, divided by zero. Child Protection Agencies and Workers of Australia, expect us.